Additional investigations. For all patients, immediate additional investigations may be indicated to identify potentially serious causes or complications of their presenting conditions. Check if the patient has any of the conditions in this section and investigate accordingly. If respiratory rate scores one point or more on the TUES, this may indicate a severe chest infection requiring supplemental oxygen. Measure the oxygen saturation. If it is found to be less than 92% on room air, administer oxygen for children and move to the recess area. If there is a reduced level of consciousness, if the patient is not alert or the caregiver volunteers that the child is more sleepy than normal, this could be due to a low blood sugar. Do a finger prick glucose test immediately, then hand over to the senior healthcare professional. If the patient is unable to sit or move as normal, if the child, for example, is lethargic or unable to move as usual, this may also be a sign of a low blood sugar level. Perform a finger prick glucose test to exclude hypoglycemia. A recent seizure or fit could be due to an easily identifiable and treatable cause, including hypoglycemia, pyrexia, febrile seizures or high blood pressure. Perform a finger prick glucose test. If the glucose is less than 3 millimol per liter, move to the resuscitation area and hand over to the senior healthcare professional. History of diabetes. Perform a glucose test immediately. Adults and children with diabetes are at risk of hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia diabetic ketoacidosis. Perform a finger prick glucose test immediately. If the glucose is less than 3 millimol per liter, move to the resuscitation area and hand over to the senior healthcare professional. If the glucose is high, hand over to the senior healthcare professional. If it's a younger child, you need a urine bag. For an older child, give a urine container. If it's an adult with a glucose over 17, do a urine dipstick to check for ketones. Malnutrition, severe visible wasting or pitting edema. This child could be at risk of hypoglycemia as well as hypothermia. Perform a finger prick glucose test and if the glucose is less than 3 millimol per liter, move to the resuscitation area. Take the temperature and advise the mother to keep the child warm. Hand over to the senior healthcare professional. For adults presenting with chest pain, do an immediate ECG and hand over to the senior healthcare professional. Woman presenting with abdominal pain or backache, need a urine dipstick to be done as well as a urine pregnancy test. In summary, we would perform a finger prick glucose test in the following cases. A patient with a reduced level of consciousness, a patient that is unable to sit or move as usual, a patient that has had a recent seizure, a known diabetic, a patient with severe malnutrition. These additional investigations may rapidly identify very ill patients and change their triage priority level. They also prevent and or identify serious complications.